this study guide has been used now by more than 300 teachers in Israel. Uh, even though now teachers in Israel have to, uh, to do it undercover, really, not to expose themselves when they do it. Uh, the uh, Israeli Minister of Education is very tough on that issue of the Nakba. He explicitly said a few times that the word Nakba cannot enter the, the schools in Israel. And he had this amazing argument. He explains that Nakba means Holocaust. So you cannot, no way you can compare Nakba with Holocaust. So that's why we are not going to talk about the Nakba. He says, yes, we can talk about the tragedy of the Israel, the Arab Israel is how it, you know, it terms the it terms the Arab. So he refers, yes, to the Arab. Yes, yes, I acknowledge, of course, that the Arabs in Israel had tragedy in 1948, yes, of course, but of course it doesn't talk about refugees outside the country. But um, and, and since then, um, the Minister of Education is very, um, like, whenever it's, there is some publica publication about this work, because it's been only recently in Haaretz, uh, an article in Hebrew and English, you can see it in Haaretz, uh, website on, on the work of teachers about it uh, in schools, and uh, most of them didn't expose themselves uh, when they interviewed. Only one did it. Uh, and we were quite afraid of what will happen to him, but until now we don't know of anything he you know, punished or paid the price. But we know that in other cases there were some problems for teachers when they told about the involvement in the court. Um, so uh, and this project, by the way, uh, uh, it's been, uh, we have some friends in the US Perhaps some of you know some of them, uh, and they are working now. There is a small team of uh, um, Jewish Americans, yes, I would say, uh, are working to adjust. Or it's been translated all to English, but now um, they try to adjust it to a uh, American Jews, I would say, audience. Okay, and they already tried it. The, one of them is working in, in JVP, and they already. Uh, pass a kind of webinar uh, with some activists uh, in, in, in JVP, and uh, so so we are trying to 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 do some activity in, in the US. And uh, people found it very interesting, and very important. Um, another project that we do is uh, this uh, I think beautiful uh, magazine. Um, it's a magazine named Sedek in Hebrew. Sedek means a uh, Fisher. Fisher, crack, okay, and um, it's it's in Hebrew, but it has also images or photos or other things, um, and and it's a uh, on the ongoing Nakba, so it it refers to Nak the Nakba in 1948, but also uh, it deals with or have texts and work on on. Um, on different, you know, things that related to the Nakba somehow. Anyway, I guess anything has to do with the conflict here has some roots in the Nakba. So, but so 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 it, this is uh, not only about the history of 1948, but also about other things. Um, we have also a, a, a website with a lot of information, mostly in Hebrew, but also um, in English and Arabic. Um, one of the main things, as I said, we work mostly with Israeli Jews, so we try to, or we make efforts to translate everything to Hebrew, I mean to bring the Nakba to the Hebrew language. So, like we don't like, translate the word Nakba and change it to the word in Hebrew, we bring the, like we say, how do you say Nakba in Hebrew? It's, it's a sentence in Hebrew with the word Nakba, and it's more important for us to, to have this history into our own uh, language, I mean, the Hebrew. Uh, because one of the things that we see the Nakba as, of course, it's, it's Palestinian tragedy, it's human tra tragedy, but it's also uh, Israeli history. Um, for us, we think, we, we know that it's part of our own history. It's not only the Palestinian story. Like some, in most of the cases, also in the last, uh, this publication in Haaretz, we tried very hard, I, I tried to explain the, 
the journalist that it's, it's not about the Palestinian narrative. You know, we don't tell here the Palestinian narrative because they, all the time they are full with this uh, issue of narratives, which also many leftists, you know, many of my friends, colleagues use this all the time to listen to the other, to listen to the other's narrative, and you know, this I'm talking. I think in many, okay, it's better than others that don't, don't want to listen to anything but to themselves, but still, I think this history is also my history. I mean, if the guy from the kibbutz uh, next to a bill, we didn't know that there was a village there, I think it's his history. Oh, okay, he can keep on his life without, want, without knowing anything about it, but still, it's his history. Now we want to know about it, and we search for it, and it's good, but, but um, as I see it, it's not only that it's our history, but it's the most important uh, history for us as Israelis, uh, as, because 1948 was the main occupation of this land, and um, since then we became, became colonizers in this country, we Israeli Jews. So without understanding, without understanding the Nakba, we don't, we can, from my understanding, we don't, we cannot understand anything here. You go to, I don't know, to Sher Sharach, or to Bil'in, or to Araki, or to whoever, or whoever, you see the wall, I mean, you cannot understand the wall today without understand how these people here are so afraid, and why, why is this Israel is, have this mind, you know, that we are all the time in a war since, I don't know when, and uh, we have to build such an enormous wall. Uh, I think if you don't, if you don't understand how this began in 1848, maybe before, but 1848 was the, I would say, the, the most important uh, time of this formation of the, the Jewish state and the refugee problem, the refugee situation of the Palestinians. And without understanding this, the understanding of the conflict is very Lousy. Um, yeah, so this is, I think, covered. Uh, we, are, we are here, this place is an art gallery also. So this is a piece, uh, it's a draw, drawing, drawing, paint, yeah, by an artist named David Luce. If you want to later, you can take uh, uh, some brochure of this work. And I think it's very interesting to read it. You saw it. He tried to create here a wall, talking about the wall. So he tried to paint the wall, and he painted it. Uh, what you see here, uh, this paint has also the material has also cement. So he used also cement when he when he draw. Um, but uh, I don't know. I have a feeling that it's too nice. This wall <laughs> doesn't give you really this. Depression, like as you see, the wall. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, so it's it's like I think we had until today, like I think now, like seven seven exhibitions or something like that. And it's a place that we have some exhi exhibitions and uh, try through the exhibitions through work with art um, to raise also discussions and uh, yeah, about the Nakba and things related to that, not always directly. Um, yeah, this I think more or less covers what we do as introduction. And if, ah, I, I want to tell you yeah, one more project about the, the return of Palestinian refugees. Um, I would say the most recent and, uh, project. Uh, we, we, as I said, we support the right of return of Palestinian refugees, but uh, we work mainly on the return itself, and less on the right. I mean, we try to develop um, ideas new ideas um, to, um, the, to to uh, to return to practi practicalities of return of Palestinian refugees. Um, we know that uh, there have been a lot of you know writing and conferences and many many stuff about a lot of stuff about uh, the right of return for many years. Uh, but there have been very, very little uh, about how this return could look like, or how, you know, once it's acknowledged, so what, 
does it mean, you know, okay, how it really, how it could really work. And we are trying to work on that for the recent years, and we developed, we, we had some projects already on that. You can see on our website, we have uh, now recently, uh, we, we, we are publishing in pieces some three languages projects of practicalities of return, uh, Arabic, Hebrew, and English. Um, because of course this project, when we talk about practicalities of return, it's not only a project of Israel, of course, uh, cannot be, uh, but it ha must involve others. I mean, of course, mainly Palestinian, and we have contact with Palestinian refugees, and Palestinian organizations to work on that together, but also with others, like architects from other places in the world, and, and that help us to think, and to plan, you know, return. Um, and one yeah. of the, in the materials that we sent around before the trip, um, if you didn't get to watch the video, the yeah. Zohrot video about yeah. what yeah. what happens when ref, yeah. when they went around in the streets and asked people what happens when the refugees yeah. return to Yaffa, yeah. Yeah. that that video, if you guys remember, that was Absolutely. that. But if you didn't get a chance to watch it, you should. Yeah, this is one of the pieces we did uh, the on that. By the way, perhaps you, you don't have anyone here from Jaffa? I don't know. Confused with something. But if you, do you have a contact with the refugees from Jaffa? We just Jaffa. came from Nablus, from Balata Nablus. camp. Oh, so there are there, there. Balata. Yeah. Because we, now we're interested in the, we are going to have here an exhibition, the coming exhibition on late August or September. We are going to have an exhibition here on this issue of the, of the return. And one of the things we want to have here is a video. We will have this video that you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. And which is mostly Israelis, or at least people from here, because some of them are Palestinians, and they are speaking about the possibility of return of Palestinian refugees. But we want to have also Palestinian refugees from Jaffa talk about their possible return to Jaffa and how how they vision it, pra practically, not in terms of dreams, but like if they can say something practically, not only the dream. Or, uh, so we are.